Rapping through the snow, selling nine half a bricks and four waves. Over the hills we go, got an extendo and an AK. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Julie Beauty, and today I'm going to show you guys how I got this little look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Well enjoy watching this video it's like a tutorial slash review on this little oh my god it's so pretty um i wish you couldn't like see anything else but yeah this is the dose of colors sassy Sir sassy sienna and it just looks like this it's such a pretty palette Wait. This is what it looks like, and it's so beautiful. All of the products that I have on my face will be listed down in the description box. Make sure to like this video right now. Go ahead and do that right now. And also, don't forget to follow me on all my social media. It also will be listed down in the description box. Snapchat is number one because that's the social media that I'm most active on. Screenshot this now. If you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So my hair isn't done again, because like I said, I'm heck of a baby. But yeah, um, so I'm so excited for this little palette right here. It's so pretty. Okay, hold on. Let me reopen. But okay, so this one is from Dose of Colors, and it's called Sassy Sienna's. Oh my gosh. I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to. I already primed my eyelids with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I don't have to tell you because you already know. And I'm just going to set my eyelids. And I'm taking this little brush. This little brush looks kind of useless, but I mean, whatever. I'm just going to apply this cream shade all over my eyelid. It's this one from Too Faced. It's kind of... I'm not even gonna use that brush, but this is kind of old. I'm just gonna use it to set my base. Okay, so now with this E22 from Morphe, I'm gonna take, hmm, I'll take the first shade right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's a lot of fallout on the, like a lot of eyeshadow comes off. Um, let's see how it goes. Okay, it's pigmented. Maybe next time you just go really lightly into the palette. So it's not this freaking fall out -y. Fall out -y. I'm going back in with this regular just shader brush and kind of blending out the edges with whatever product I have on that brush. Now I'm going to take a smaller crease brush. I'm taking this little domed fluffy brush. This one right here. And I'm going to take this next shade right here. Oh wait. So the first one that I applied was Oh So Sassy. Now I'm going to take Bossy. Well this shade looks like a boss. I'm putting that all over my lid. And then tapping off the excess and blending that into my crease. Now I'm going back in with the E22, taking just a little tiny bit of that oh, oh so sassy and blending it out. Okay, with this M506 brush, it's just a small tiny crease brush. I'm gonna take this shade, it's called Brassy. This one right here. Eee, I forgot, it's pigmented. I'm gonna put that on the outer corner. <clears throat> I'm going back in with that small dome brush and blending that out. Taking that E22 and further blending that out. Eyeshadow 
colors are kind of blending with themselves. Like, they really are. There was a little bit of fallout right here. So Okay, so now with this little pointy part, can you see? This pointy part right here, I'm gonna take brassy, this one right here, and I'm just gonna apply that right on my lower lash line. And I'm winging this, uh, the lower lash eyeshadow with my wing. I'm just gonna take it out. Okay, so now I'm just going to apply the lower lash mascara, which is my roller lash. Hold on. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the other eye off camera. Then I'll be back and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I'm done. And I put on the mist lashes. Oh my god, my favorite. Um, and the... Style FM40. You can't see them, but they're on me. Well, I have a lot, but they're these right here. They look like this. So, yeah, my overall thoughts on this palette is okay, so I have one negative. So, I really don't like how there's no creamy white shade or no inner corner highlight because you know, I like my bright inner corner highlights, and this one doesn't have that. Okay, maybe I have two bad things to say. So that, like, there's only transition shades and then two outer corner shades, which, okay, if you have other palettes, like, then it's okay, like, if you want these, like, this is your matte palette, and then you might have another palette, but I would like there to be a cream shade in here, at least, because, you know, every look needs the cream shade as the base. So yeah, that's one thing. And the other thing is, I really don't like the brush that I came with. What is you for? You're useless, Ignacio. No, but yeah, this is really useless. I don't, I don't like it. But this is, I like this little part right here. Like you like the little flick right here. I like that part, but you know, if I wasn't creative, I wouldn't have done that. But that's anybody could come up with that. So what I do like about it is that it's orange. Orangey shades are my favorite, and yeah, that's. Oh, and the blendability is amazing. Like, I didn't really have to work hard to get these to blend. They kind of blended themselves out. But yeah, you always want to go from light to dark. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And also don't forget to like, I mean, also don't forget to subscribe and push the little post notification button so that you can be notified whenever I post the videos. And if you guys want to see more little reviews, let me know on what products or what new things you guys would like to see that you guys haven't bought so that I can buy. Oh my gosh. So that I can buy it and you guys see if you guys, if it's worth it. I don't think it's worth the money if you already have a couple of palettes and you're just not a makeup collector if you're not a makeup collector don't go and buy this because it is a little expensive for five shades but it is good so if you want to splurge a little bit on a palette that looks pretty go ahead and do it or you guys can just buy it for somebody for christmas because i would like to get 
the other one for Christmas, the berries, I think. Blushing berries. Yeah, I would like to get that one for Christmas. So I love you guys and I'll see you guys in Vlogmas Day number 20. Bye.